Yes, Friday morning, Paul's in the shower, I'm going to the shower after. We are packed and ready. You probably think it looks like a lot for a weekend. This is both our clothes. This is what I'm wearing today. This is what Paul wears today. Some stuff we're going to be bringing to my backpack. This bag is only full of quilt and uh, bed covers and all that. That's all why we got so much stuff. So, yeah, but then um, I'm waiting for Paul to come out the shower and then I can film in and then uh, we'll head down to the station. And um, Sally has already been handed in to my mum and dad, so that's perfect. Yes! And the music's pumping because we're getting ready for a party. On oh, the wine gum bears, they're good. Party time. <laughs> Yep, it's 11 o'clock and we're standing out on the beers already. Well, I am. Paul is having a coffee and we are waiting for our friend to come around and hand us some keys and then we'll find out whenever we can go to uh, his place. Um, we handed our luggage in at the main station. They have like a facility where you can pay some sort of money and they store your luggage for you until you come and pick it up. Um, so we've done that, which is cool. But um, just chilling right now. Um, it's only 11 o'clock. A little, little past 11, I think. 11.30 so um, yeah nothing really kicks off yet um, but we are going to have some drinks today and um, have a lot of fun so here we are guys we are in Copenhagen actually we've been for quite a few hours we just had a little snooze and we're gonna sleep here tonight Paul sleeps there I'll sleep there and uh, yeah this is uh, our friends uh, roommates apartment or whatever like that um, this is the living room of it um, I seem to always get surprised how small Copenhagen apartments are because they're so expensive. This is actually a quite big apartment though. Um, but yeah, um, they have a nice balcony in the back. Let's have a look out here. Paul's just having a shower now, I just had one. But yeah, we've got this nice backyard here. Which is kind of cool. The air is nice and fresh and they had forecast that rain tomorrow but right now it's like cloudy. So hopefully no rain will come up. Oh, and I set my bed. Um, I use some product. It's quite stiff. <laughs> um, because I use like, a little bit of hairspray to hold it. Uh, we went out and had some food. That was nice. We had a nice steak, which is steakhouse. Treat ourselves a bit. And now I'm waiting for Paul to finish his shower. And then we'll go out and um, have some beers and meet up with some people. And then uh, we won't be home too late tonight because the parade is tomorrow about 11 starts. So we want to get down at least for like 12 o'clock or something, just to see everything. But yeah, um, well when we got here, our friend, which um, has said that we could stay here, he's kind of like got us a little bit like, oh, thank you. Uh, because he first, he was the one who said, oh, you can crash at my place, that's no problem. Um, which is okay, so we're here now. But uh, when he came earlier today, like there's a lot of rules like, Oh, we can't do this, we can't do that, we can't get in here until 6 o'clock until his roommate's gone. So we waited till like 6.30 uh, in the evening. Uh, but when he came out to us, because he only had one set of keys, so he had to have another set of key made. Um, which you probably eventually will use anyway. But um, he wanted us to pay for that, so we have to do that. And then... Um, I mean, it's a little bit silly we have to pay for the keys, but never mind that, it's cheaper than a hotel because there's no hotels available, we have looked. But when he met us today, he just like came over and oh, um, just remember not to do this and this and this and that. And I kind of wish I haven't said yes to let you stay now because it's an inconvenience. And I feel like, oh, well, that's very welcoming to say. We've just arrived in Copenhagen. Um, you wanted us to be at a bar at 11 o'clock. You showed up like 12.30. Uh, so he's now and a half late, and then he tells us it's an inconvenience that we are crashing in his apartment because it's what we think. He said that he got a new apartment, but I think he only rents a room in that apartment. So all of this, what we're in now, is none of his. And well, I think this kitchen thing is his uh, because we recognize a lot of the stuff from his other apartment. So we felt very not welcome, and um, he took off on his uh, motorcycle or motorbike with his uh, boyfriend, and um, that's the last we saw of him for today. But we brought these uh, or bought these nice pride wristbands. Can you guys see them? Well, it's not focused. Um, they are like 50 krona, which is about four and a half pound, five pounds, UK pounds. I don't know how much in dollars. It's like you times it up. <laughs> um, 
about eight dollars and like six, seven, eight dollars. But um, we bought these, and um, the money is going towards um, the Gay Pride for next year, which we thought well, that was a nice charity because that will help uh, make the place safer and better and more. Um, like it just supports a good cause. So I bought one for both me and Paul, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. But um, I'm probably going to bring the camera out tonight and film a little bit of what we're doing. Um, but today is not the big filming day, that's tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I really want to film a whole lot of stuff and have like, a whole lot of good fun video. We'll see. Alrighty, but I'm going to sit down now, wait for Paul to finish his shower. That's going to be a little while. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys after or when we get to town. Alrighty guys, look at this. This is like uh, an industrial building. And you get all these cool lights. You see the flag down the side. Oh, yeah, trying to get it and you can see it over there, that's rainbow, but that actually is like a waving flag, it's so cleverly done. So cool, but this is like what Paul and I said, the, the Copenhagen nightlife is so pretty and we wish we could do it more often. Alrighty, but um, we're gonna go to the square now, we're actually at the square, we're gonna go and see the show. It's like a pride, pride thing going on. guys we're heading down to a bar now um, it's impossible to get in there more than half the square has been taken by the new metro station building again um, there's it's taken them like what three four years oh, it's so, taken so long it's super long time to build that metro station um, but we're heading down to a bar now and what Paul said he'd just been to Brighton Pride a couple of weeks ago and the nice thing about that, you have to pay an entry fee to get into the actual Pride. Yeah, the nice thing about that is that us who wants to come and see it, us gay people, we pay to get in and that's fine. Um, at least we can get in and see something. Now it's just really packed because it's free for everybody to walk in. So people who is just looking for a good time can still walk in and take up a whole lot of space. And this is the gay Pride, it is for us. It's for everybody, but... At least we would like to be able to see the shows, but we're going down to a bar now, which used to be an old, old lovely place called Can Can. It's changed into My Fair Lady now, and we're gonna go and check it out and see how that looks like. Because our friend said it's really nice, so we're gonna go and have a drink, meet up with some friends eventually when we find them, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just hang out and enjoy the night.